National Racing returns to Nashville, and you'll see it live here at 2 p.m. Eastern Time on the Nashville Network. Mike Cope made a late pit stop for replace a right rear tire. He's all the way at the back of the field. We're back under green. Now, number 97, Ron Barfield, had been black flag, lost a lap going into the pits and lost one coming out under caution. So now he has made up one of those two laps. He is not on the lead lap. Larry? Okay, I'm in the Mike Cope pits. It was one of those good news, bad news situations. I've never seen smiles so big when the caution came out because it was obvious those guys needed four tires. But when they went oh, to the right crash. here, big they had crash, a Larry, problem. in turn one. Half the field is involved in a grinding crash at turn one. Pulling away from it. Number 15, Mark Day. Number 95, Chad Chaffin. Mike Cope, Rick Crawford all took evasive action. Andy Kirby gets away, and so does Bobby Russ Wood in 57. Wayne Willard drives through it from the back of the field. So does the number 7 of Clay Brown and the 28 of Billy Bigley. That leaves eight cars in the wreck, including 38, Rick Marshall. Number 80, Toby Porter. Number 72, the pole sitter, Eddie Mercer. What a pile. Boy, I mean, there's a lot of damage on the Joel, I mean, these cars, too. One and two. What a pile up. 52 is there. Tammy Joe Kirk is involved. There's Tammy Joe's car, and Shane Hall's car looked to get the worst of it. Let's see what happened here. Joel, Jody Redley is going in the corner there, and Tammy Joe and he make contact, and you can see everybody just start piling in here. And two cars are aflame. One is Ridley's, and one is the 38 of Rick Marshall. Ridley is out of the car, trying to disconnect his radio cord as it rolls into the 38, already vacated by Marshall. That car is owned by the Ridley family. And it is up in flames. Man, that's a big fire right there. They'll hope to contain that Joel. before it spreads to one of the other cars that is sitting down there between turns one and two. I'm down here. Right Larry's one down there, Larry. I'll tell you, it was really a scary moment. All of a sudden, the cars were just sitting here. Flames started coming out from Jody Ridley's car, and they couldn't really get his attention to let him know it was on fire. But Jody safely got out. His radio cord was stretched about 30 feet, it looked like. But... Uh, He's here on the grass and everybody's safe. There's Jody Ridley. Tense moment. That I think, buddy, there's probably a no greater fear for a racer than fire. Boy, I tell you what, you can I've been in cars, I said there's no way I could get out of there. A little bit of fire you can get out, believe you me. Wow, look Whoa. at the 80 climb up and over. Toby Porter and pile in. Here's what happened from Tammy Joe Kirk's point of view. The first contact will be she and Jody Ridley on the right side. She goes down under Ridley, they, and Ridley comes down in the corner. Both of them get there in the same spot. Wow. And it happens that fast. Boy, I hate to hear all that slamming and bamming like that. I've been there, done that. No fun. There's Tammy Joe's car. You're looking at Shane Hall just to the right for his automobile. And again, we are under a red flag here at Nashville. For the second time today, 138 laps have been completed. Eight cars are involved in that crash at turn one. Several others parked waiting I'm to get I'm here with past. Tammy Joe Kirk. Tammy, you're, you really had a good day going, but kind of a scary moment. Can you kind of tell us what you saw from your point? Yeah, you know, me and Jody was racing real hard, and I got under him. I think it might have been part of my fault. You know, I got under him, and we got tied up and got tagged from behind, and it's a bad situation. We was running good at Michael Motorsports, Sunoco Subway. You know, was doing real, was doing real good, and, man, I just I blew it. I think it's my fault. Well, I'm telling you, that takes a lot of class to say it was your fault, so uh, good luck next time. All right, thank you, Larry. Tough break as they battle for position. Tammy Joe Kirk and Jody Ridley down there at turn one. They will clean it up and we'll restart the Slim Jim 200 here at Nashville. So we'll take a break and be right back. We're under the red flag here at Nashville for an eight-car collision triggered when Tammy Joe Kirk and Jody Ridley got together going into turn one. Let's go down to the accident or first. Let's show you. You watch and listen in real time to what Tammy Jo Kirk saw. That's how 
fast and how hard it happens. Mm. Goosebumps on my legs. I don't know about you guys. Mm. You Let's can hear the impact. Yes. Let's go down to the scene. Here's Ralph. Well, we're standing by here with Jody Ridley, who's with his family. He seems to be okay. Tell us, from your viewpoint, what took place. We've seen it from the in-car camera. It looks pretty horrific. Well, you know, I really don't know what took place behind me. I know I got turned. Uh, they tell me Tammy got me. I don't know if she did or not. I couldn't really say. But really what caused all the problem was that uh, wide 76 car, I believe it was. He's a lap car and got up in the middle of everybody and checked up, and, you know, and, uh, you know, I don't really know what the deal was. But they say Tammy got me. I don't know if she did or she didn't. But for whatever reason but anyway somebody got me turned me down there now i hear you talking to your crew if that thing is drivable you'll get go back out there and try to pick up a couple more well, spots we need to make two or three out if we can you know because they obviously wrecked six eight cars here and, and that could make a big difference in the, the year of course i hadn't even looked at the car might not be able to get it back anyway but we're gonna go down here and look at it and sleep and go out and make two or three more laps anybody wondering what the definition of a racer is the answer jody ridley Jody is 52, oldest driver in the field. There's NASCAR Vice President Mike Helton uh, surveying and supervising some of the cleanup activity here. There is Ridley's car being hauled off to the pits, and he makes a very good point, buddy. At three points per position uh, back at that part of the field, if those other seven cars...